Welcome back to Learn Easy Tutorial Your Online Learning Companion. Let's see how blood circulation happens in the human body and what is meant by double circulation. The exchange of gases happens in the lungs. The oxygen-rich blood is then carried from the lungs to the heart through the blood vessel's pulmonary vein. Please note that this is the only vein that carries oxygenated blood. During the atrial contraction phase of the heartbeat, it is pushed to the left ventricle which is then transported to the body parts through the artery aorta. Aorta is the biggest artery present in the human body. Note that the blood flows in spurts through the artery and with pressure. But, arteries can't carry this blood to each cell. So they divide further to form arterioles which further divide to form capillaries. Capillaries as you know have very thin walls and when blood flows through them under high pressure, some portion of the blood oozes out to the tissues filling the spaces between the cells. This fluid doesn't have RBC and platelets and is known as tissue fluid or interstitial fluid. Tissue fluid helps in the exchange of oxygen and nutrients with the cells. Carbon dioxide and excretory material from the cell are diffused back into the tissue fluid. But tissue fluid can't join the blood back through the capillaries. So they drain into another system of vessels called the lymphatic system. The fluid is called lymph here. The lymph joins back the main bloodstream through the vein which is connected to the lymphatic vessels. Coming back to capillaries, they join to form venules, which further join to form the vein. The blood which was not diffused to the tissue will flow through these veins. Once the fluid from the lymphatic vessel joins the vein, the consistency of the blood gets maintained, antibodies are released to the bloodstream, and the excretory materials from the metabolic activities can be removed. The large vein that collects deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body is superior vena cava and the one that collects the blood from the lower part of the body is inferior vena cava, pours the blood to the right atrium of the heart. Note that the blood is not flowing through the vein under any pressure and there are valves present in the vein to prevent the backflow of the blood. This blood is pushed to the right ventricle which is then transported to the lungs through the pulmonary artery where it gets oxygenated again. The circulation that happens between the lungs and the heart using the pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein is known as the pulmonary circulation. The circulation that happens between the heart and the body using the artery, capillary, and vein is known as systemic circulation. The pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation are together known as double circulation. For notes on this topic check out the link in the description below. That's all for now. Happy learning!